Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, May 17, 2019. This week, how to use watery photo masks with photos in Photoshop and Elements. Katie Pertit's watery photo masks are wildly popular page elements, which create a hand-painted watercolor type effect on digital projects. Not only are they beautifully crafted, they're also deceptively easy to use. This week's tip is the first in a series showing just how versatile these masks really are. They can be used in a wide variety of ways to enhance your digital art. This week we'll explain how to use the masks with photos to create a painted photo effect, and then we'll move on to other creative ways to use the masks. To get started using watery photo masks, begin by opening a new document or a background paper a photo, and a mask in Photoshop or Elements. Get the Move tool, which is the first tool up at the top, and drag the mask onto your new document. Still using the Move tool, drag the photo over to the new document. In the Layers panel now, the top layer should be the photo, with the mask in the middle and the background on the bottom. If the photos are out of order, just drag a layer up or down the layers panel until it rests in the right position. Make sure that your photo covers the mask completely. If it doesn't, press Ctrl T on the keyboard or on a Mac system that's a Command T to open up the transform controls. This looks like a bounding box around your photo. Use the corner handles to resize your photo. And you can also resize the watery mask the same way to make it larger or smaller. Just select the mask layer and press Ctrl T or Command T on the keyboard. If your photo is becoming distorted as you drag, hold the Shift key as you resize and that will cause the software to maintain the original aspect ratio. Tick the check mark to confirm the change in the size and then create a clipping mask. Move your cursor between the photo layer and the mask layer over in the layers panel. Hold down the Alt key on a Mac system, the Option key between the layers. When you drag your cursor between your layers holding the Alt or Option key, you'll see that the cursor changes to a bent arrow. When it does that, click. This clips the mask to the photo. Alternatively, you could select the photo layer and choose Layer, Create Clipping Mask. In Photoshop, pressing alt Control g or Option-Command-G on a Mac is the shortcut for this task. If you're working in Elements, just press Control g or on a Mac system, Command-G. Now your photo has taken on the shape of the watery mask. With the basic technique mastered, you can get creative with the way that you use the masked photos. For example, you can use a masked photo as your focal point, embellish on top of or around the photo. Try using the masked photo as part of the layering, placing it behind framed or focal photos. Feature a favorite photo by increasing the size of the mask to cover a large portion of the canvas, causing the image to take up more real estate on the page. Or blend the masked photo into the background by decreasing the opacity of the mask layer in the layers panel. Just select the mask layer in the layers panel and slide the opacity slider at the top right of the panel. If you're reducing the opacity of the photo layer, it will allow the black mask to show through, which is not the look you're trying to achieve. So change the blending mode of the mask layer or the opacity of the mask layer, and that will blend the photo with the background. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check back in two weeks for another Designer Digital's tip.